Hi, welcome to the episode number 11 of the KB series of my channel. This is where I'll be explaining some basic computer networking terms. The ones that I think are useful to know in order to understand the main videos of this channel better. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at the Wi-Fi 6E. In the last couple of generations of Wi-Fi, the main frequency bands that were used were the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz bands. Although there has been some improvements in any newer Wi-Fi generation, the frequency bands they used stayed more or less the same. The problem though is, as we have more and more wireless networks, these bands get more and more crowded and congested. And it gets harder to have a wireless network which is not interfering with someone else's wireless network. The good news is, Wi-Fi 6E has now introduced a whole new frequency band, which is the 6 GHz band. One advantage of the 6 GHz band is the fact that it has 59 usable channels, which is a lot. Because for example, the 2.4 GHz has only 3 non-overlapping channels, and that number for the 5 GHz is 25. So basically the 6 GHz band has more than twice as many usable channels as the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz combined. And of course more usable channels means more Wi-Fi networks can coexist in the same area and without interfering with each other. But there is actually something to keep in mind. That 59 channels are for indoors and some of that cannot be used outdoors. Because some satellite services in broadcasting industry also use the same frequency band. So to avoid any interference between them and Wi-Fi 6E, FCC has some rules and regulations. For example, the indoor access points and the wireless clients that connect to them can use the entire 6 GHz band. However, their power should be limited to this. Also, the access points need to have permanently attached integrated antennas, so they cannot be removed and replaced with some higher gain antennas. Now, the rules for the outdoor access points is quite different. First of all, the maximum power allowed is higher. Also, some portion of the 6 GHz band is not allowed to be used outdoors. And for the portion that can be used, a system called AFC or Automated Frequency Coordination should be used to manage real-time frequency assignment. So, to sum up, the availability of the 6 GHz frequency band for Wi-Fi has many benefits, especially for the network services that require very reliable and fast connections. For example, online gaming, virtual reality, augmented reality, or even a backhaul connection in a mesh network. And for most of those services, currently a wired connection is preferred over a 2.4 GHz or even a 5 GHz connection. So in a Wi-Fi 6E tri-band wireless router that has 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, and 6 GHz frequency bands, only the wireless clients that are also Wi-Fi 6E capable can connect to the 6 GHz network. And Wi-Fi 6, 5, or even 4 clients can only connect to either 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz bands. Thank you very much for watching this KB video. Please like it if you liked it and subscribe if you like to see more. Thank you again and I will see you soon.